welcome back to my channel. Cat Wonders here. I'm back with another, you guessed it, bikini haul. Woo! Today I've got textured bikinis. <laughs> so if you followed my last two videos, I was wearing a yellow dress to begin with. The last one was like a mint green and now I've got, I've got my baby blue dress on. <laughs> They're all the same style from Free People, not sponsored or anything. I just ordered them and um, so many of you were infatuated with the yellow swimsuit that I wore. I was like, I got another couple colors, so might as well wear them. I love it so much. It's very comfortable and very like throw over your swimsuit in the summer type dress. So anyway, <laughs> this is not sponsored by Timu, but this is another Timu haul. These are textured bikinis and they're actually textured slash neon besides one. And these are actually so good and they're so cheap. Cheap like a chickadee. They are between seven and $12 a piece which is wild. And I'm gonna try them on for you because that's what we do here. And you can't tell me what to do because you're not my real dad. <laughs> anyway, so I'm pretty impressed with these. The last batch was kind of, but this batch I'm excited about because there are two that I really want to keep and put in my bin. So let's just get into the try on. But before, we get into the try on, I wanna take a moment to thank today's video sponsor. So let's take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Dossier. Dossier. Dossier? It's Dossier is how I pronounce it. So Dossier will provide you with the scent you've always dreamed of. And you don't need to spend over the top money for these smells, these scents, <laughs> these smells. Dossier draws inspiration from some of the world's top perfumes. Dior. Other perfumes. <laughs> for me, I always, I always think of uh, Dior because I love Dior. There's no reason why you shouldn't smell like a million bucks and you don't have to spend a million bucks. Some perfumes are wildly expensive. And for what? Maybe because the bottle looks pretty or whatever. It's not for any reason besides marketing and Dossier takes all that out of the mix, even though the bottles are super pretty. They're providing perfumes, colognes, whatever you want to call it, wonderful smells for like 70 to 90% less than your average high-end luxury brand. And they're inspired by these perfumes, so they smell almost identical. Also, there's not much regulation when it comes to the kind of things they can put in high-end luxury perfumes. What are you spraying on your skin? I kind of want to know, but Dossier fragrances are colorant and UV filter free. They are vegan and cruelty free. They are paraben and phthalate free phthalate free and 100% risk free. So let me just show you a couple of these scents. You can't smell them with me, but I can show you the bottle and I can describe to you as best I can how they smell and how they make me feel. Cause I'll tell you what, scent is the most connected to memory. So sometimes when I smell a perfume or even if it's not a perfume or a cologne, it's something in from a bakery. It takes me back so somewhere in my youth and makes me feel amazing. And that's what perfumes or fragrances should do for you, is really evoke something. Even if you can't figure out what it is, because I'm terrible at pulling notes, it's like wine. Some people can be like, oh, there's some uh, mango and some pine. I don't know, <laughs> never in a million years could I do that. But all I do know is that the feeling and the memory or just the I don't know. I just, sometimes I smell something and I'm like, I want to embody that. I want to look like that smell. <laughs> so, I know it sounds crazy. Or I want to eat that smell. Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> anyway, let's get straight into the perfumes that I've got or the fragrances that I've got. The first one is citrus ginger. So this scent is actually inspired by Chanel's Bleu de Chanel. This is <laughs> wildly sexy. So I want to call this unisex. It maybe leans a bit more like for guys. So I, I smell the lid like this, but I did spray it in the cap earlier. This is if, uh, okay. If you were walking down the street and you smelled like this, 
wafting past me, I would turn around and look at you and I'd go, what's your number? <laughs> the power of fragrance. It smells clean. It smells woody. <laughs> it also gives like a exotic something, but never fear because it comes with a little note card that essentially gives you the notes, top notes, low notes, Top notes for this are peppermint, lemon, and ginger. I wouldn't say that I, like peppermint would pro, like if I saw that on the top notes, I would not, I would kind of steer away because I don't want to, like the minty fresh scent, like, like you just use mouthwash. It doesn't really speak to me, but also have a look at how cute the bottle. Very clean, would fit on any countertop, but lemon and ginger. However they made this work, I don't know, but all I know is it smells incredible. Um, middle notes are vetiver, <laughs> vetiver, pink pepper and nutmeg, base notes, sandalwood, incense, and cedarwood, yeah. So cedarwood is giving me the woody type <laughs> smell. And um, concentration is 15%. This is so incredibly sexy and really does it for me. <laughs> And I'm so glad I chose a scent because I feel like I could gift this to a significant other and really love the way they smell. There's nothing worse when you don't like the way someone smells or their choice of fragrance is not, doesn't match up with yours. I mean, not everybody will like what you like, but it's nice to have a partner or somebody with you that you like the way they smell. Let's just put it out there. So this is staying in my underwear drawer. This thing. <laughs> the other fragrance that I chose is Fruity Jasmine. Fruity Jasmine. Now this, um, this actually is inspired by Dior's J'adore. Dior J'adore. But this is so, this I'm spraying all over me because I'm different. I have a bunch of different perfumes, but this is so incredibly beautiful. Even just to like spritz around my studio, like just to have my studio smell like this is what I want. But if my girlfriend was wearing this perfume and I was like, what do you, I would for sure ask what she was wearing. And she'd be like, oh, it's, Fruity Jasmine, I'd be like, what? <laughs> Inspired by J'adore Dior. Basically, this is my favorite so far. I am in love with Fruity Jasmine <laughs> and I think you will be too. Anyway, so highly, highly recommend Dossier and also just knowing that it's a bit safer for you, your family members, your wife, your sister, your aunt, your whoever that's gonna be spraying it like right on their skin because there does need to be a bit of thought put into what we put in our bodies. And the fact that this is incredible smelling and also maybe avoiding some chemicals that you're paying extra money for, seems weird. <laughs> so thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video and uh, check them out, link down below in the description box. And let me know if you own any Dossier perfumes, which one's your favorite? Because like I said, these are, <laughs> these are really good. And I'd love to know if you have a favorite, comment down below. Let's get straight back into the try on this. Okay, the first one is this really nice neon orange textured bikini. Now it's got kind of like a little floral. Is it floral? Or is it just more swirly whirly? Maybe like a paisley slash floral. But it does have like kind of a texture to it. And I do love swimwear that has a lighter and a darker color just to give it dimension, you know, like it doesn't need it, but this I really like. And it also has little beads on the top part. You tie around your neck. So that's fun. And then here are the bottoms. I was a little bit hesitant right away. Like I was like, I kind of like a tie side or a lower rise or whatever, but then I tried it on and I was like, actually I like it. So, and the color is so good. I do have a bit of fake tan on, so it really does like make the um, neon stand out more, but I love it. I think it's really cute and I want to keep it forever. It's 
Next is this very vibrant neon bikini um, bottoms. They're side ties, so you can adjust them however you want. Love them. Also, I tied this upside down purposely because I kind of wanted to switch up the, just the regular triangle fit. Uh, but the way I tied it makes my boobs look humongous for some reason. Or it did in the other photos that I was taking. I was like, geez, <laughs> it's like an optical illusion. But this has a really nice ribbed texture. Just gives it some depth and like, makes it kind of look a little bit more interesting. And the bottoms, like I said, they fit actually really well. They're not too, like, it's not too long, so it's not sitting super high up my butt, you know? And you could tie it shorter, but still, if it's not the right cut, it looks bad on your butt. Okay, this next one, this color is so good and it's very close to the color of my last Free People dress. <laughs> Textured with this wavy texture and it's almost like a terry cloth, like a towel material. It's giving that, it's probably not as absorbent, but here's the top. It's not adjustable besides the strap, so it does not like, you can't undo it in the front or the back. I like this a lot. I love the color, especially. The color is what gets me um, and with a cute little wrap skirt or something, I've got like a few that would go so well with this. I really like it. I like the fact that the little clasp in the front here is gold, I think. Is it gold? No, it's silver. But anyway, who cares? <laughs> Hit from my angle because everything else in here is so worn down. It's like, it's not gold. But it fits me really well and I really like it. Last but not least is this white textured bikini. And it is almost like a zebra print texture, same kind of terry cloth vibe. And I've got this, it, it came with this tube top. Now, I don't dislike this tube top, it just is too big. And I did order this in a size large uh, just to be on the safe side, but it is too big. It is a little bit like bulky and I know if it got wet, it'd be really hard to keep on. Also because I bet this probably gets pretty heavy with water. It does look like it absorbs some water. And the bottoms are too, are too big too. They kind of tend to pucker and bunch, kind of like a diaper, especially that it's white and kind of textured. <laughs> but anyway, I like the idea. I just need it in a medium. If it was in a size medium, it'd probably be perfect. It's my fault, it's not Swimsy's fault. Um, and the fact that these are so cheap, like. This is some decent quality for the price. And um, this one I will be keeping, but it's not its fault. <laughs> it's mine. All right, everyone, and that concludes this video. Thanks again to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Everything is linked down below if you want to check them out. I've also got an OF and a Patreon, so check those out. Also on my pillar link down below in the description box, check out my podcast, also linked in the description box. And like this video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate every like that I get and um, subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos because guess it's around the corner. Summertime. <laughs>
and I can't freaking wait. Oh, that register is way too low for me. Um, I've got so many things coming, so many exciting things happening. And uh, just subscribe so you can come along these adventures with me. And uh, let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. If you have a bikini company you would like to see me try out that I haven't tried out before, or just even if you don't know what I've tried out before, just comment down below. And yeah, which, which bikini is your favorite? What swimsuit company should I try out next? And maybe um, what's your favorite color? <laughs> comment down below in the description box. I mean, in the comments. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you all in my next video.